Well, I think hockey sense, uh, you know, the, the, you can do the basic thing, you know, skating and size and stuff. But I think hockey sense is, is, is the real important thing. Uh, the game's so fast nowadays, if you get on the wrong side of a puck, it's a penalty and, and, and scoring chances are so quick. I think hockey sense is the main thing and, and competitive spirit, I think, are two of the key uh, components of, of uh, building a, a good hockey player. For me, I mean, as a coach, you're kind of watching the games uh, still from the coaching side. Uh, I like to see guys compete, see how they see the ice, their hockey sense is, is uh, you know, a high priority for us. And uh, uh, certainly those two things right away, if they can catch your eye and then you, you know, pay attention a little more. But it's early and a lot of guys are still nervous and, and uh, making some early season errors. So we'll have to watch and uh, get a few more viewings. You've got to have skill, you got to be able to skate, you got to have some size. If you're going to be a smaller player than that, you know, you've got to have some sort of dynamic value. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that, and elements that we do look for. Um, I know skating is a huge, huge factor, uh, especially at the NHL level. I mean, you've got to, these, these guys can skate. And I mean, even though these kids can skate right now, you've got to be able to skate with the puck as well. Well, like, like the good thing is, like, if you get drafted out of the Western Hockey League, we've got two years to sign you. Okay. After those two years, you become a free agent. So you've got to do something in two years. If you're a good player and you go to college, like these kids here are doing at the BCHL level, we can draft you and then we tuck you away for four years. We don't have to sign you. And even then, you know, you've got kids who are, who who haven't been drafted. They go play at the college level. They they produce. You know, they're playing NBA against bigger kids. They have more time to mature, and before you know it, you know they have more picks to choose from instead of having to go onto one team's depth chart. We try to be patient. We're just more of an identification process at this early stage, but uh, definitely some good players. The BC Junior Hockey League uh, makes some great players. One of our best players, uh, Jamie Bent, came out of this league. So uh, you know it's exciting for the for us. It's a new season and and, and great opportunities for these young men. showcase tournaments like this and lots of games in a, in a short amount of time and every team plays twice there's a lot of hockey to be watched and sometimes those players uh, you know they're getting it they're they're, uh, they're looking all the same at some point so you got to take a little break and uh, do some homework and then uh, get back at it well there's a lot of pros and cons to the uh, showcase but they're mostly pros uh, it's nice to be able to see all 16 teams at once so uh, you know for us for us scouts we you know we don't have to worry about you know going to far reaches of the universe to go see these players but then again it's kind of nice that you know once we do see them uh, we can make our plan accordingly and, and go and see which players or which teams have got players. I think it's outstanding. I know Alberta and Saskatchewan have done it previous years and I think anytime that you can get an opportunity to get the whole league and, and, and all the scouts be it college and NHL to give these kids an opportunity to see them as many times as they can is uh, it is, is positive and, and, and I think that uh, the, the BC Junior Hockey League has done a wonderful job here so far.